Jerry of the circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Hey, Jason, have you seen Mr. Randall? No, but he should be here in a minute, Jerry. Are you sure? Yes, because he told me he wanted to catch my act this afternoon. Yeah, so do I. Hey, uh, how are you feeling, Jason? Fine. Couldn't be better. You did a swell job of covering up those bandages. How do you like my headgear? <laughs> well, looks like a costume with those long sleeves and everything. But, uh, Jason, are you sure it's safe for you to go on? You bet I'm sure. Listen, Jerry, I'm not taking any unnecessary risks. Now, you just stop worrying. Gee, I sure wish Mr. Randall would hurry. I, I just got to see him. Now what's bothering you? I don't know. You don't know? Well, what do you want him for, then? I mean, Jim Bennett yelled at me as I came by the ticket wagon and told me to get hold of Mr. Randall. He seemed awful excited, but he didn't say what it was all about. That's funny. Oh, so there you are, Jason. Welcome. Welcome back. Hello, Boris. I heard you were going to work today. That is good news. So I came over to see you. Well, that's very kind of you, Boris. Oh, not at all. Always I appreciate the man who can carry on in the face of much trouble. You feel well, yes? Fine, thank you. Hey there, Jason. Glad you're back. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, sure you patched up okay? <laughs> Good as new, thanks. See? You can just tell how glad we are to have you back, safe and sound. Yes, indeed. A man has to get into trouble to find out where his good friends are. That's true, Boris. To be perfectly frank, I didn't realize how regular you were until, well, lately. <laughs> Ah, you see my gruff Russian manners belie me. <laughs> hey, you're on scene, Boris. Are you, are you ready? Oh, yes. I must see that everything is in readiness. Uh, I'll stand by during your turn, Jason. Okay. You know, I can't quite make him out, Jason. I guess we just didn't take him right. He's got a quick temper. Underneath, well, from the looks of things, he seems to be a regular fellow. Yeah, but, well, oh, cool. I don't know. Well, this looks like a gathering of the clan. Hey, that's right. <laughs> Look, all the clowns and everyone hanging around the bedroom. That's funny. Anything up? I'll say. My favorite lion tamer's coming back into the ring. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, Jerry's right, Jason. We'll all be here rooting for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, say, I guess I'd better get over there. I'm on in a few minutes. See you later, Mr. Rabbit. All right. <laughs> yeah. I never saw Jason embarrassed before. Yes, yes, he's, he's a modest person, Jerry. Most big people are. Jiminy Crickus, I almost forgot. Well, now what? I got a message for you. Oh, for me? Well, I I guess I can wait till after. Oh, yeah, there, there goes Jason now. I don't know. He was awfully excited and said to be sure to tell you quick and have you come right over to see him. He seemed awful excited, Mr. Randall. What? What are you talking about, Jerry? Jim Bennett. Good afternoon, Mr. Randall. Oh, howdy, boys. Well, uh, what's it all about, Jerry? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I interrupting something? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, Jerry was just trying to give me a message. Well, I'll, out with it, son. Oh, that's all I know. Mr. Bennett just said for you to get over his ticket wagon fast. Something awful had happened. Well, I wonder what... It can probably wait. Better watch our brave friend Jason first, eh, Mr. Randall? Yeah, uh, uh, yes, yes. I, I guess you're right. Gee, it sure is great having him back. And all in one piece. I'll say. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what's on Jim Bennett's mind. He's, he's not the sort of person that gets excited over nothing. Gee whiz, is there anything more thrilling than a steel full of mixed cats and a You're lion... forgetting about blooded horses. Yeah, here, here, now, no professional jealousy, Boris. Oh, it's only <laughs> just, it's a different kind of a thrill. Uh, Jason takes the wild, vicious brute and bends him to his will. 
Man's victorious over animal. I'll say he does. And I take an intelligent, sensitive animal and train, train him like an artist. I create a unit. Man and horse. Hmm. Yeah, that, that, that's very well put, Boris. The two types of work can't be compared, of course. Gee, I sure missed that fire act with Street. Oh, so do I. Yes, it broke my heart to pack that panther off to the zoo. So you did send a black fury on to a zoo, huh? Yes, yes, you... He'll never be good for the ring again. However, he may live to a ripe old age in the zoological gardens. Certainly, thousands of people will still have the thrill of seeing him. Yeah, black panthers are as scarce as... Well, as scarce as... <laughs> Hen's teeth, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, looks like Jason's doing all right. Yeah, perhaps I'd better get on over and see what Ben has got in his mind. I'll come by there as soon as Jason's through and tell you how things went, Mr. Oh, I do that, Jerry. I'll walk with you. I'm headed for my wagon to get Nicholas for a lap. All right, good. Well, Boris, uh, how are things going with your troop? Everything satisfactory? We Russoffs are keeping ourselves pretty busy. Mm, that's fine. Everything okay with Whitey? Yes, yeah, since that last misunderstanding, things are all smooth and friendly. Well, I'm glad to hear that. It's the best way to get along with folks. You're right, Mr. Randall. Well, uh, this is where I stop. All right, all right. I'll, I'll be seeing you, Boris. Uh, hey, Mr. Randall, quick. Hey, J Jim Bennett's having a fit. He says he's got to see you right away. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Jeff. I, I heard he wanted me and was heading for his wagon. Get your Mr. Randall! Mr. Randall! Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, hello there, Jim. I uh, hear you're looking for me. I'll say. I'd about given up, too. I finally got one of the men to handle a ticket wagon and came for you myself. Say, this must be pretty important if you'd leave your job like that. It is. Say, where can we talk? Well, we may as well stop by the office wagon. It's quiet there. Okay, boss. Well, what's up? I hope it's not serious. Better wait till we get inside your wagon. It's plenty serious. No, well, not a hold-up or anything like that. Hold-up is right. But not the kind you're thinking of. You're building this into quite a mystery, Jim. Well, here's the office wagon. Let's go in. All right. Okay, Jim. Here we are. All right, now we're alone. Out with it. What's this all about? A strike. What? That's it, boss. It looks like we're going to have a strike. What in the world are you talking about? Now, now wait a second till I show you this letter. Why, uh, who ever heard of a circus having a strike? Here, read this. I found it under my door. Uh, uh, not signed. Well, now let's see what this is all about. We want more money. That goes for the canvas men and the roustabouts. All of us. And if we don't get it, we won't work. And how will you move your show without us? So I guess you are stuck and had better come across. Uh, sounds like they mean business. Uh, I wonder if the stakers in on this thing. Uh, have you checked with Murray? Yeah, first thing. He says he heard the men complaining some, but he's as surprised as we are. How long have they been grumbling, did he know? Oh, he said just the last day or so. Probably due to all the extra work we had after that cyclone. Yeah. A strike in a circus. Well, it's ridiculous. Every showman knows the show's got to go on. The, the public mustn't be disappointed. Uh, you wouldn't catch the performers pulling a stunt like this. Yeah. I'd do as much, if, if not more, for my men than most owners. I'll wager there's more behind all this than meets the eye. Uh, you got the reputation for being the squarest shooter in the circus business, Mr. Randall. If I could just know who's behind this scheme. Oh, if I could just lay my hands on him. I, uh, I can't believe this is just a regular strike. Now, Murray's as much as a surprise as we are. Oh, so he's not sympathetic with this thing, huh? What? That Irishman? Say, you should have heard him. Uh, I wonder who wrote this note. Uh, if I knew, I'd skin him alive. Well, what are we going to do, boss? I wish I knew. What about loading the show tonight? Oh, don't worry. It'll be done. Oh, but they say there'll be no work done. Yes, there will. And if they don't do it, I'll... I'll... What? I don't know yet. But I'll have to work fast. I can see that. But what can we do, boss? Well, I'm not sure yet, but... Of all times for a thing like this to happen. Yeah. What with all that expense we've just been through, thanks to that twister... And now that $25,000 note to be met by the end of the month. Uh, we can pay it okay if we do average business and there's no setbacks. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder. Uh, what's up, boss? Uh, nothing, nothing. I, I just got an idea. Say, you're not thinking of meeting their demands. You mean uh, giving this raise? Yeah. I should say not. They got all they're entitled to. You know that. Uh, if I give in to this just because we're in a jam, I'd fall prey to every racket that could be thought of in a circus. Uh, most of these men don't think any further than their noses. Yeah. They don't realize you're giving them all you can and still keeping the circus going every year. Yeah, yeah. They, they forget the expenses go on during the winter regardless of no income. Hey, Ray, this way. Come on. We gotta go see Mr. 
Oh. Why, that sounds like Jerry. Yeah, yeah, it is. He's been watching Jason. He said he'd come back here after the act and tell me how it went. Well, that's right. Jason did go on today. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Randall, you in there? Yeah, yeah. Come right in, Jerry. <laughs> Mr. Randall, it went off swell. Sure was a corker, wasn't it, Ray? Uh, no, no trouble then, huh? I'll say not. I talked to Jason afterwards, and he said to tell you he feels fine. Good, good. He's a good man. Isn't everyone who'd insist on working after getting messed up the way he did? Golly, I sure hope I'll be like him when I grow up. Yeah, you got a pretty good start, Jerry. Thanks, Mr. Bennett. Uh, Jerry, uh, close the door, please. Okay, Mr. Randall. Uh, Jerry. Y- yes, Mr. Randall? How's your bump of detective instinct coming along. Well, I don't know, Mr. Randall. I haven't had much chance to use it lately. Well, I, uh, I might be able to put you on to something. What? A mystery? Oh, say, that's well. Well, not exactly the kind you're thinking of, but there's some trouble brewing, and uh, I don't know but what you might be the ideal person to do a little super sleuthing for me. Oh, say, that'd be swell. Uh, you don't mean on this, this business we've been talking about, boss. That's exactly what I do mean. A boy can wander about and do a little listening without their paying any attention to them. While if you or I were around, they'd all shut up like clams. Ah, well, maybe you're right. Say, this sounds keen. What's it all about? Well, if you do this, Jerry, I'll have to trust you not to talk about it with anyone. Sure, anything you say. Oh, gee, Mr. Randall, you know you can trust me. Yeah, all right. Now, this is the situation. For some reason or other, some of the men are planning a strike. A strike? Yeah. They threaten to stop work if I don't raise their wages. You don't mean they let the circus down. Apparently, that's exactly what they do mean. I never heard of such a thing. Well, nor I, but I suppose there's always a first time. Say, who's doing this? Well, that, that's what I'd like to know. Now, if you'll spend your spare time around the canvas men and the stakers... Yeah, and the workmen, you know. Yeah, any of them, and try and find out what's going on without asking questions. Just listen. Sure, I know. If I start asking questions, they might know what, that I'm on to it. That's it, Jerry. But keep your ears open, and perhaps you might find out who's inciting the men. Inciting? Yeah, you know, stirring them up, getting them to strike. Oh, well, maybe they won't really do it. Maybe it's just a threat. Well, that's possible. In that case, we'll call their bluff. But if it's real, we'll have to be prepared. Golly, you couldn't put up the show without the roster bots and the rest of the workers. Uh, it'd certainly be tough. We could hire the stakers in each town, though it would cost a lot. But the canvas men, uh, it'd be pretty difficult to find untrained men who could put up all the canvas... Hey, I'll get right on to this, Mr. Randall. All right, and remember, Jerry, don't talk. You bet. But I'll keep my ears to the ground. And if there's anything to be heard, you can just bet that I'll get it. (laughs) 